Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpiola here, bringing you guys a very exciting easter egg guide on how you guys can access not one, but two different secret rooms inside the dead of the night in Black Ops 4 Zombies, and these rooms are really cool, they're both little mini side easter eggs that you can do each game, and they'll give you a little power up or a weapon, or I've even seen silver bullets come out of these things that is really cool. Both of these notes are easter eggs where if you don't get the order correct, because they are all order based, if you don't get them correct first time, they fail and they can't be done for the rest of the game unfortunately and yeah they're pretty simple to do honestly if you just follow this guy you're gonna have no problem at all doing them so we're gonna get right in to the first easter egg which was in fact found by Potsy and Najma aka Brown Eyes Girl so shout out to them and yeah we're just gonna go over this for you right now so for our first easter egg here this one's gonna involve bookcases now there's two different bookcases that are going to be important to this easter egg one is on the east balcony and one is on the west balcony now on each of these there are two different specific books you need to note each of these will have different symbols on it now these symbols have to be hit in a certain order now these symbols won't be in the same locations every game but the point is that these four book locations remain the same you just need to find the right symbols and hit them in the order I'm about to show you. As you'll be seeing on screen right now, I'm kind of walking you guys through all the different symbol locations, but yeah, let's get on to this order. So the first one you're going to be hitting looks a bit like a sickle as you see on screen here. You just need to interact with it and then you'll see this cloud of gas come off of it and that's when you know it's been completed. The second one you hit looks a bit like an asterisk, I guess you'd describe it as, or a snowflake, I heard Dame call that. And yeah, once you've got that one done, you can move on to your third one, which is a bit like a paperclip. Just interact with that. And then our fourth one is kind of hard to explain, but you'll know because it's none of those three. And it's just got a few little dots on it. And once you interact with that, the bookcase will open and your reward will be sat inside. This room's pretty useless for anything really else. It just looks kind of cool. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys this video to kind of go over both these little fun Easter eggs. And now we're going to be going on to our second one, which was in fact found by Chaos Basilisk earlier today. So this one's gonna be a little more complex. Inside of the wine cellar, there are gonna be six barrels that are going to be useful for this Easter egg. Now, all of these barrels do have wine dripping from them from the very start of the game. And now basically you need to interact with them in the order of the fastest dripping to the slowest dripping. Now the best way to do this, I guess, is I'm going to walk you guys through all six of the barrel locations and the order we hit them in in our game. This will vary from game to game which ones you have to hit first, but you want to be looking out for the speed of the drips. So if you just look at the gameplay here of each one and the order I'm hitting them in, just look at the speed and match that to each of the barrels. So we're just gonna go through each of them here in my game and all locations. One here is just at the back. We'll, you'll see this little stack of five barrels. All you have to do is hit the tap with your melee and you'll see this little burst of wine come off of it if it has worked. If not, it doesn't mean you have failed. You're gonna need to do a little bit of comparison work here to make sure you're hitting the right ones because as I say, if you get them wrong, you can't do them again in that game. You can see that little barrel sat on its own there. That's our next one. And then this next one here is just in this little set of two here. As you'll see, that little burst of wine comes off it to indicate that you have done this correctly. And then we kind of have our last three here chained together because you can very distinctly see which is the slowest. Sometimes it does take a little bit of work to notice I actually hit the wrong barrel there. But yeah, we get that one right there. Then we have our fifth one, which is just opposite where the plate can spawn. And there is another one here, which is right beside the MX-9 wall by. So pretty much there's these six locations, and when you've hit them all, if they've all been in the right order, the pulse of wine will come off every one, and the room will open to indicate you've succeeded. You'll have a wee drop or weapon, or whatever it may be inside this room. So yeah. Yeah guys, these easter eggs are really fun, they're a cool little thing you can do each game to get a little reward to help you get set up. I hope this guide has helped you out and you've enjoyed it. If it has, then I do have a guide link down below on how you can get into the Crypt Room, which will also give you an awesome new crossbow weapon called the Savage Impaler, so yeah, that's linked down below if you want to check that out. But yeah guys, any more easter eggs show up, I will be making follow up guides to explain them all to you. And yeah, let's go wrap up this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, if you have, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on more Black Ops 4 Zombies videos. Bye.